hello guys today we are going to see the st map what is the st map and how to use st map and when to use st map so as you can see in my new the benefits of using st map is we can do a warp distort match move stabilize and texture apply in the texture apply we are doing a, when we're doing a cg comping let's go step by step so what is the st map basically st map is a look like this so it's representing the green and red channel so if i press r you will see the red channel in in this uh, ramp so this the red and green combine you will get the st map which is uh, storing the pixel information in the current position just like the transform if we add a transform it's saying translation 0 and 0 so we are not changing any value if i move this now we are changing the pixel values the same thing happen with the st map we have to generate a st map and then we have to use this st map apply the effects this is the st map node so as you can see this one but before going this one we have to know how to generate st map and how to do the manipulation to apply on on our image with this expression as you can see you can create the, the st map if I double click you will see the what is happening in this expression node. so basically in the x in the x in the red channel we are adding a ramp x plus 0.5 and width and basically the width and the height in the in the green channel and and that's it and you have your st map uh, ready to use this is the way you can create st map and let's see how to use this st map so i have a few examples here the simple use case of this st map so i have this checkerboard here and i have the same expression i added here and I have a noise here also this is simple noise and i'm multiplying on the st map so if i gamma down you will see i'm changing the values so if i sample this current pixel value as you can see in the red is this values now before is this so i'm changing the pixel value which means uh, we are changing the translation of this uh, st map i can take this st map and connect the source to the image and st map to st map and then in the channel i have to set the uv channel rgb because the st map is rgb so now if i view from here you will see this is the warping and distort distorting the image based on the noise so if i come to the noise by change the scale you will see it's getting more and more uh, detail I zoom out and you will get very uh, big noise and in the multiply you can control the effect also see like you can increase slowly see and it's warping like that so let's see you like this one and if you want but this is a very high frequency noise as you can see and and low frequency also but if you want to reduce the high frequency noise what you can do you can add a blur so benefits of adding a blur it's very 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 important very useful we will see in the i will show you the best example but in this one if i blur this st map like here you will see we are removing basically we are blurring the high frequency detail as you can see and we are reducing the details and we are just making the st map very smooth see this is before and after so and another use case of this st map uh, you can do you can add a length distortion so in the new many nodes are supporting the st map uh, just like as you can see just like this length distortion node if you open the properties assume you set up the all the length distortion and all that and in the output uh, it basically uh, give you the undistorted and redistort but it also have the st map output so with that one it's storing the st map detail in the motion channel so view the motion channel you will see see we have this st map the red and green we can just shuffle out the st map and using the st map node we can apply the lint distortion so benefit of doing this way you can render this path out from here and you can pass it to someone who's working on your working on the same project you can pass this st map and he can also apply using this one 
this node is also supporting and also the, the smart vector node also support the ST map when you uh, when we create a smart vector like here and then we can use the vector distort when we using the vector distort node in the vector distort we have a ST map so you have this output estimate and after that you can apply the same here and it will affect the benefit of doing you can render this pass out and you can save it save it in your drive and you can use it anytime and it's very lightweight because you render out the smart vector thing using the st map basically you are converting the smart vector into the st map and then you are applying the match and warping the result will be the same but it give you much faster speed to work on like this way so now we know the st map uh, what is the st map and how to use the st map here are some more 2d examples uh, of the using the st map in real world case so as you can see i have this image here of this lady i want to change some definition of his face so what i did here i take the same st map and the rotopaint node and i did some changes on his face if i show you on off you will see i change some uh, definition of her face and you can see what is happening here uh, i'm basically warping the st map and this effect will apply on this image as you can see this is another use case you can directly do that with the roto paint but so this is the another way of uh, using the st map as you can see if i show you if i want his eye maybe this much so as you can see now we can warp and distort image using this roto paint node and st map in the in a 2d environment like this and the same thing we can do so as you can see in this one i'm directly adding the this thing right here on the roto paint node and in this example so let's see i want to uh, decrease or increase your line so in this one what i did i have the same st map i added a transform so as you can see in this one i'm making the ST map up and I'm key mixing with this one with this rotor so the effect only applies here in this one so as you can see now again the pixel values is change before is 46 now is change 468 and 12 so as you can see the values are changed so this will detect from this ST map and as you can see we change face uh, jawline the definition of face and in the earlier i told you to use the blur so see in the roto node i have this much blur here and i'm adding a more blur here if i show you if i disable the blur you will see the hard line and all it will not gonna blend properly and same thing here if i just select all these things and remove that uh, this blur mount you will see what what is happening disable this thing see so now the roto don't have any blur but we are just cutting this like this and we are applying the st map it, it will give you the effect but it's not blending if i add a blur now you can see the difference I disable the blur completely if i increase see it's blending through this so let's make this 50 see as you can see now it's proper see if i check here it's blurred it's not the same as we are doing the transform mask transform mask will give you the feather like uh, uh, transition but this one is blending because this is the st map you are basically warping and distorting so this is the basic concept of the using the st map uh, in your 2d environment main benefit of using ST map you can store this information and you can use it later and you can use it like this the key mix and blur and it will give you the very nice result like this so in the 3d environment how you can use this one the, there are many ways to use this one let's see the in nuke we can how, how you can use this one and then in the 3d environment uh, how you can use this one uh, when we are doing a cg comping so i have another example here right here i have this footage uh, if i play for you I have this footage of this mountain with a drone shot and let's see i have uh, i have a match move camera which i have here and uh, i want to play something over here here and here you can easily do that uh, but how to do with the st map what i have here i have this st map and i'm projecting this one i al already made it a geometry of this uh, environment as you can see 
see the basic geometry of this scene so i have this project 3d and i'm applying this st map on the camera on this camera so now as you can see we have this uh, projected on this uh, frame zero uh, from this camera and then i'm rendering this one out so it's look like this now this st map is tracked as you can see it's moving so as you can see this st map is moving now okay let me quickly add a frame range node here okay so as you can see it's moving because it's all it's tracked with that camera also so what i can do if i come here and the st map i can let's see uh, i want to add some and make this rgba so now this shape is tracked uh, with that current motion it's like 2.5d track so as you can see it's going with the perspective also it's not the same so if i disable this one so as you can see the perspective is also changing so this is another benefit of using the st map we can uh, store the tracking information in 3d space also as well as in the 2d all right so let's move on to the cg uh, cg environment so let's consider we have this footage and uh, let's see we have we have a uh, track on his face and we have a cg uh, you know cg mask on his face and but we need to add some texture on his face so uh, to manipulate or uh, to apply a texture on his face i basically uh, did a render so basically i have this uh, 3d face using the model builder and face tracker so i have this math move face on on her and what I'm doing here, doing the same thing. I'm applying a texture. I'm applying a same this uh, expression HD map and applying on this face as you can see directly. And then I'm render rendering this one in the CG uh, in the CG comping. You also getting this kind of map and that one called the UV map. You will get the same path like this one in the uh, name of UV UV path or UV layer or something like this the idea and the concept is the same you can use this one and you can add texture and uh, surface imperfection to your uh, cg to make it more realistic so in this one we are adding a texture using this information so using the same st map and the text see as you, as you can see i'm applying using the same st map and this one is tracked with with her face as you can see there is one problem we have to know the exact position of of her face so what i mean by that uh, see if I, I have this text like like here but remove these things so i have this text here and let's see uh, i want to add this text on like let's see uh, here here for example so we, we can randomly move like this and we can apply like i'm doing like here so yeah this is the exact position but uh, this is not uh, the proper way to identify the exact position of her face and of her face or any any other CG object. So the best way you have to know uh, the UV coordinate of, of this CG object. So in this case, I have this face. So I have to know the UV of this face. So I can apply that. You can also render the UV map is basically you can you can also make this UV map if you have a CG object and you can also do uh, in the scan land render as you can see if i disable this one if i so this is the uv it's looking like so i'm applying the wireframe to show you so this is the uh, face unwrap of this model so basically we are unwrapping this face on a flat surface so it will look like this so in the scan line uh, don't connect the camera just connect the object to the scene in the projection mode just set to uv instead of uh, by default it's the render camera you have to set as a uv so then you will get this uh, but uh, in the all 3d program uv is in a square format uh, i have this 2d reformat i'm connecting to the bg so and now it's more uh, more square so previously it's more stretch because we have this hd format so i'm converting into 2k so now you can see it better the all the shapes and uh, geometry of this face so with this we can use as a reference so as you can see i'm adding this text as here 
and let's see now we can freely move this like i want to place it uh, like here in this case i want to place on here in this position now i we are referencing here and as you can see in this 2k square box the the exact position of this area is here so if i apply this on st map it's moving here so let's view from here now as you can see it's properly applying on this uh, position so let's go back to the 2d and let's move maybe like here on the nodes and let's view it here so as you can see it's properly wrapping you can manually do this like in the in the viewer also like this but sometimes it's very hard to pinpoint the exact position so this is the best way to align your texture like text or you can add a noise and something any anything you want to add you can mask this thing all that stuff and then you can uh, use the st map and uh, aka uv map in the cg company we call the uv map because uh, it's come from the 3d package you can also call the uv map so as you can see now it's applying and it's also match moving as you can see to summarize everything st map is uh, just a ram in the red channel and a green channel which is storing the uh, current pixel information and you can use this to uh, basically uh, warp and distort your image and you can do match move with the uh, li like i'm showing here and you can also do into 0.5d using the smart vector thing very useful uh, in many situations where you where you want to store the uh, data you want to store the uh, tracking information and and uh, and the texture texture information you can use the st map if you have any questions please let me know about the st map and any any uh, any future topic i will try to make it uh, as soon as possible thank you for watching